we are now discussing how universe is made up of and out of that the most important thing how life evolve on earth obviously uh, there is important element for evolution of life on earth you may consider that is water oxygen hydrogen like that but the most important element here that is carbon i am not saying only carbon but carbon is a very very important element in the process life evolves in universe there is huge quantity of carbon present say uh, from hydrogen helium is produced the process we are calling as nuclear fusion reaction the next chapter we are going to discuss in that nuclear chemistry you will observe about this all nuclear fusion reaction but right now you can consider by combination of four hydrogen atoms one helium atom is produced like that by combination of helium atoms carbon atom is produced and variety of stars that we are observing in the space they are having huge amount of carbon may be possible because of that carbon is present on earth why i am again and again focusing on carbon because this is not biology lecture this is chemistry lecture and we have to discuss about the molecular nature of living system but for that purpose first we should familiar with chemistry of carbon compound we should familiar with the compounds given by carbon the way carbon is giving out various compounds that is really important and then we are focusing on bio molecule but that will take a long time so right now we are first focusing only on nature of carbon compound why carbon is considered separately say uh, now before discussion of this lecture i am aware that you have observed atomic structure chapter completely you are aware of various parts of physics that is nature of wave wave radiations then different radiations like that you are aware of periodic table and you are aware of chemical bonding on basis of that we can discuss maximum things over here number 1 carbon is showing tetravalency now in case of periodic table you are aware that the elements in the same group possess similar property so if you observe group of carbon that is starting from carbon then silicon first is non metal second is metal oiled these elements are showing tetravalency so apart from carbon silicon is also showing tetravalency so variety of compounds are present from silicon side also so two elements we have to select from the group that can give maximum compound that is either carbon or silicon now out of that what is the problem in silicon and what is the benefit of carbon you are aware that as we move down the group atomic size decreases whereas carbon is having smaller uh, sorry as we move down the group atomic size increases so carbon is having smaller atomic size than silicon as a result carbon can form single bond with another carbon double bond with another carbon as well as triple bond with another carbon that means i can show here that carbon will give me single bond with another carbon double bond with another carbon and even triple bond with another carbon but this is not possible for silicon silicon will give only single bond this is because larger size of silicon atom than carbon so uh, you are aware that first bond we are calling as sigma their second is lateral overlap that is pi bond but in case of silicon pi bond forming is not possible why because atomic size is bigger and therefore that lateral overlap what was shown in uh, chemical bonding chapter we are not 
uh, able to get this type of silicon silicon pi bond and therefore double bond and triple bond formation is not possible in carbon uh, sorry in silicon whereas it is possible in carbon so this is first benefit of carbon whereas silicon is lacking in that the second thing that carbon can form long chain this way carbon 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 bonds are there now tetra valence tetra valence means what four bond formation should be there so just <coughs> just look out here every carbon is having four bonds whereas carbon 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 long chain is there whereas in case of silicon we have this type of catenation power this power we, we are calling that's catenation power what is catenation power element can form long chain with same element this is catenation power so carbon is possessing catenation power silicon is also possessing but not as high as carbon usually silicon is having affinity for oxygen and that's why we are getting this type of linkage but that linkage is sio sio linkage now silicon is tetravalent whereas oxygen is divalent so both is satisfied here and that's why we are getting compounds of silicon in form of usually we are calling that as silicates but third important thing that silicates are uh, with fewer exceptions they are insoluble in water i am not using word sparingly soluble also i am using word as insoluble in water and therefore the silicate category is not used for life system uh so here the creator he is not supposed to use that for life system but uh, carbon is having high catenation power so number of compounds formed by carbon increases to infinite also silicon but silicon is not able to form pure silicon silicon linkage and silicates when oxygen is combining the silicates are insoluble in water and therefore uh, for life system essential element should be carbon yet scientists believe that everything is possible and may be possible on some of the other planets may be possible silicon based life system may be there we don't know with our knowledge carbon based life system is there on earth now we are focusing that means we are uh, having now idea that why we are studying out carbon compound separately number 1 carbon is having tetra valency that means carbon can form four bonds whereas uh, other elements are not able to do so whereas silicon is also capable but Uh, second important that carbon can form multiple bonds with the other carbon you may say this type of possibility is there that nitrogen is also giving triple bond with nitrogen yes because of smaller atomic size the element from second period can form but nitrogen is not able to form huge linkage that is catenation power whereas carbon is having this type of catenation power that carbon can form long chain of carbon silicon also can form but silicon is stable with oxygen rather than silicon silicon and therefore we are having silicate linkage which is usually insoluble in water with fewer exceptions of silicates they are soluble in water now here we are now focusing on com carbon compound so this is chemistry of carbon compound old days this chemistry uh, say i want to remove this all old days this chemistry was called as organic chemistry why scientists were having strong belief that this type of compounds are formed by influence of some supernatural power that is whatever the organs are there they are able to form this type of compound but we are not able to prepare this type of compound in laboratory so that's why we are calling that as organic chemistry say for example urea can man form urea answer is yes in our body urea is generated uh, particularly in our body waste material is there that is in form of ammonia you are aware of now structure of ammonia uh, chemical bonding we discussed that that is nh3 
NH3 is poisonous in our body and so that ammonia is converted uh, into urea. If we want to excrete out, excrete means throw away metabolic activity whatever there that from metabolic activity waste material is produced that we are throwing away outside the body that is called as excretion. We will discuss that in uh, biology lectures. But here you can consider that ammonia suppose I want to excrete out then huge amount of water is required for that which is not possible always for terrestrial. Terrestrial means the life which is there on land that is terrestrial life it is not possible but for aquatic fishes particularly freshwater fish it is possible. But here in case of mammals or human being that urea is formed in human body the name of process is ornithine cycle that is carried out in liver and this way ammonia is converted into urea in liver. So can man produce ammonia? Uh, sorry urea answer is yes within the body of man urea is produced but it is not produced by mixing out chemical A plus chemical B in the laboratory getting idea. So uh, within body it is produced but we are not able to produce that in laboratory and therefore this is called as organic compound. So like that division was there. Uh, now second category of compound we are calling that as inorganic compound. What is inorganic compound which is not organic that is called as inorganic. So NaCl that is sodium chloride we can prepare in laboratory. No doubt it is there in human body also but we can prepare in laboratory. So NaCl is called as inorganic compound. Water we can prepare that in laboratory simply by burning out hydrogen in atmosphere we are getting water. So this is called as inorganic compound whereas urea, methane, then uh, that uh, ethane like that variety of substances we are calling that as organic compound because it is uh, not produced in laboratory or it was rather. Wohler is name of German chemist. First time in history he produced urea in laboratory. Then onwards various other organic compounds also started preparing in laboratory and therefore it is considered now as they are not in requirement of supernatural power. We can produce these chemicals in laboratory and that is why the name organic chemistry is replaced by chemistry of carbon compound because later, later on it was de uh, detected that all these organic compounds they are having carbon as their principal uh, element and so we are calling that as chemistry of carbon compound now. So if you heard the word chemistry of carbon compound all right if you heard the word organic compound then you have to realize that this is the history but still today we are using various historical concepts. Uh, let us check out uh, in case of Mumbai there is area we are calling that as fort area particularly if you are travelling by train and visiting out Chhatrapati Shivaji terminus in old day it was called as Victoria terminus VT now it is called as Chhatrapati Shivaji terminus if you go there then from that Chhatrapati Shivaji terminus to gateway of India whatever the area is there that is called as fort area fort but practically there is no fort. Name of area on address also we are having fort but practically there is no fort why because uh, when Britishers were there in Mumbai in earlier days 1663 they constructed there a small fort then onwards in 17th century latter part they expanded that fort and a strong massive fort was there that was there till 1818. Then onwards slowly as British rule established in India permanently slowly and steadily these walls of uh, fort start demolishing out instead of that new buildings were constructed in that area and this way we are now having no 
even single piece of wall of fort but still area is having name as fort three gates were there for that fort one was somewhere near church name is church gate till today it is existing apollo gate bazar gate names are there for area but uh, there is no fort and no gate so like that names are there but we are not using that similarly various parts of the world today we realize that still we are practicing out names of uh, old names in that but now we should keep in mind that the name of this substance uh, this chemistry should be chemistry of carbon compound and not organic compound now uh, number 1 we discuss why chemistry of carbon compound why carbon is having this type of uh, wattage now second thing is important that electronegativity of carbon in periodic table you are aware that we discuss about atomic uh, sites electronegativity then electron affinity etc concept electronegativity is tendency we can't measure out it but on certain scale like mulikan scale we can measure out now here to the surprise carbon is having similar electronegativity with that of hydrogen and that's why carbon can form enormous compound with help of hydrogen if you observe all these organic compounds then predominantly organic compounds are having a sector that is called as hydrocarbon what is meaning of that compounds made up of only hydrogen and carbon like we discussed earlier silicates where there was silicon and oxygen now same way here the compound that is hydrocarbon that is called as hydrocarbon because it is having only carbon and hydrogen then it is called as hydrocarbon then we can separate out another compounds they are also in huge number but in order to study out this separately we are now focusing on first hydrocarbon now in case of hydrocarbon clear cut idea should be there hydrogen is monovalent in nature that means hydrogen can form one bond carbon can form n number of bond uh, sorry uh, four numbers of bond but n number of carbon can combine together n number of carbon means what i can say this is the chain c c c c c c c c c like that it can continue to 20 30 40 like that so huge number of carbons can come together even sometime branching is also possible branching means this type of chain i can say this way also it can propagate this chain i can pro propagate in this way also like that this type of branching of carbon chain is also possible uh, you may say here that why divalent carbon is here no it is not divalent we have to understood that in case of chemistry of carbon compound carbon is always tetravalent hmm, this is predominant condition that in case of chemistry of carbon compound carbon is always tetravalent that means carbon should have four bonds now if at all i am not showing here other bond but you have to assume that there are other bonds in the way that carbon should have always four bonds so whenever carbon is there we have to assume everywhere it should have four bonds then only i can consider this as organic compound so now it is every time i am not drawing this every time you have to assume that though i am drawing here one bond two bond or three bond to carbon carbon is having four bond and it is satisfied whereas usually say if it is hydrocarbon then obviously that other all valencies are satisfied by hydrogen because what is a hydrocarbon compound which is predominantly made up of hydrogen and carbon so then whatever the vacant places are there they should be only hydrogen because this is hydrocarbon so everywhere now first time i am writing everything but not always so this type of compound is there this is called as hydrocarbon which is compound made up of only carbon and hydrogen 